The X-59 will fly over select US cities, starting in 2024. NASA's X-59 will test its brake through silent supersonic aircraft in the US. NASA will demonstrate its plans to test supersonic technology. It's quiet above. The United States community this week in Nashville. Silent supersonic technology, the X-59 is an experimental jet aimed at reducing the number of sonic booms produced by an aircraft breaking the sound barrier. Supersonic flight or flying at speeds greater than the speed of sound is common for military aircraft but commercial aircraft are somewhat restricted on the ground due to the included associated boom. With this type of flight, this sonic boom is a sequence of shock waves that are generated by a supersonic aircraft that combine to ear splitting breasts that could be heard four miles around overland. This boom created an unacceptable level of noise for the public, while there was some success. In the past, with the likes of the now long retired Concorde, he was forbidden to do so. Overland flights since then overall, there's been little effort to make. Supersonic flight is normal for commercial aircraft, but if a way can be found to reduce the noise, produced by these aircraft, especially on land, can drastically shorten travel time. This is where an aircraft, like NASA's planned X-59, could prove revolutionary for air travel, which is equipped with something called silent supersonic technology, future. NASA's X-59 silent supersonic jet, ready to fly NASA's supersonic aircraft, has moved closer to the runway. Runway in preparation for its debut flight this milestone begins a series of ground tests for ensuring the X-59 is safe and ready to fly as part of NASA's silent supersonic technology mission, which aims to show that planes can fly faster than speed, sound or Mach 1 without producing the loud sonic boom that is generally produced by supersonic aircraft. We'll then fly the X-59 to several communities to gather data about. Human response to sounds produced during supersonic flight officials saying, a statement from the space agency NASA will send the data set to the US and international regulators to allow commercial supersonic flights over land. The P-9 supersonic jet is thought to produce only a soft boom or the equivalent. Nearby car doors were slammed to the people on the ground compared to previous generation supersonic aircraft. Known as rattle windows when flying above the speed of sound, so the X-59 can, leading to new sound-based rules regarding land-based supersonic flights opening new doors for commercial cargo and faster passenger air travel. The X-59 is powered by a single jet engine which was made by General Electric Aviation. A subsidiary of General Electric was designed to reach a speed of Mach 1.4 or 925 miles per hour flying at an altitude of 55,000 feet 16,764 meters. The X-59 measures 94 feet 29 meters long and has a wingspan 29.5 feet 9 meters like Concorde. The aircraft has a long pointed nose that blocks the view forward of these obstructions will be built with an improved vision flight system that will most likely consist of a 4K camera. Jika Semu Abergelan Ses Warirenkana X-59A Kintabang D Artas Kota Kota as to 10 to Mulay Tahan 2024. Residents will be able to share their responses to the sounds produced by the X-59 aircraft. Then the data collected from the flight will be shared with American and international regulators by 2027. When quiet supersonic technology mission almost ends, NASA hopes to develop a plane that will allow quieter supersonic flights, which could one day reduce domestic air travel by half if approved.
October 14, 1947, Fnjerk Jaeger breaks the sound barrier of the first ever supersonic flight. At the Aerospace Valley at Mirak Air Force Base, in 1947, Morak Air Force Base, later known as Edwards Air Force Base October 14, 1947, the Jaeger broke the sound barrier. The first supersonic flight occurred at Valley Aerospace in Mirak Air Force Base in 1947. Morak Air Force Base later became known as Edwards Air Force Base, foreign.